What's good? What's happening? What's cracking, everybody? It's your boy QG, and I am back with another video today. I am going to be putting together my wish list for Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Now, we don't know the entire roster just yet. Uh, hopefully, it does not leak. Fingers crossed. I would like to be surprised, you know. Um, but I did want to put together a wish list because I realized, I guess I never did it for the first game or never made a video on it. Um, I made a roster prediction video, but I never made a wish list video. Um, at least I'm not remembering. I mean, hope, I mean, maybe. I made a lot of videos over the past couple years. But I'm sure I haven't, I don't, I don't think I've made a wish list video for this game. Um, and if I did, it was on my other channel, which I delete. So, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is coming out in like a couple months. Let's get into the, this wish list. Um, I have it into several sections as you can see here. I'll link this tier list in the description below. So if you wanted to make your own tier list, wish list, whatever, um, you can do it yourself. So let's go ahead and get started. So, Aang, off rip. He's in the game already, confirmed. Don't even need to worry about that. Angelica, now, Angelica from Rugrats. I fuck with Rugrats. Rugrats is a staple of Nickelodeon, one of their biggest franchises. Their movies are good. The show is good. It's a great cartoon. Uh, Angelica, now, I wouldn't say I necessarily need Angelica. I'm not, like, I grew up with Rugrats, but I'm not, like, a huge Rugrats fan, if that makes any sense. So I could put her in want, though, because I do respect Rugrats, and it would be cool to have, like, more Rugrats characters besides Reptar. Um, and she's one of the few characters that's, like, in old enough to be fighting other characters, because it's kind of weird to have, like, if it was Tommy, you know, if they had, a like, a baby fighting, um, you know, uh, Vlad Plasmius, like, that's not, I don't know. Um, technically April's in the game already. Uh, it's not that April, but she's in the game already. I don't know if they're ever going to do different versions of characters like that, where it's just like, this is April from the Nickelodeon show, but the April in the game already is from the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show. So I don't know. Arnold. I damn near need Arnold. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, cause it's Arnold. I guess my guy, like Arnold, he's one of them. Like now that's a show. Same thing with Rugrats, staple of Nickelodeon, classic, but I, I like Helga was cool in that first game, like I, I messed with Helga, I like that stage too, I really like the, the bus going to the city, like that's awesome, but Arnold is something different about that protagonist, like he is it, it, different. Um, Azula, need, kind of need, I, I love Avatar, I love Avatar with uh, all my heart, um, it probably is my favorite Nickelodeon show, but like whoop doo like that's not a big a big thing everybody loves avatar um or most people you know love avatar so that's nothing crazy but still azula is one of those villains she's really cool she has blue fire i feel like they could do a really cool like move set with her I, I really i'm excited to see how the avatar characters play now in this new game um i don't know azula would be sick i i'm really gonna be biased there's gonna be a lot of avatar characters in that need section need and want it's gonna be full of avatar characters i'm just gonna warn y'all now so but it's my wish list, so hey, you know, it be whatever wish list y'all guys like want to do, I'll put like I said, I'll put this link in the description. And you can do it like that. Um, uh, so there's that with the pig, pig, goat, banana, cricket. That was the show. Uh, didn't watch it. Uh, I was past my time. I was done watching like cartoons on a daily basis after when that show came out. Like I don't, ha I don't have cable anymore. I have never seen it. Um, it could be a funny show. It could be like a sleeper hit. It could be trash. I don't know. Um, but I'm indifferent. I didn't want to put a category of characters where it's just like, no, like I don't want them at all. Like just like a negative, like push them out of the game or keep them out because all these characters are important to certain people. You know, um, I'm not going to be a jerk about it. Uh, Beautiful Gorgeous. That was her name, right? Beautiful Gorgeous would be cool. Beautiful Gorgeous would be sick. Uh, I really like Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron, that was a really good show growing up. I was really big into Jimmy Neutron. Um, I, the Beautiful Gorgeous stuff was funny. Like, the whole thing they had with the... What well, she got with the garbage man when they had the love potion and all that stuff. And the spy episode. And, yeah, that's a classic. Um, Bessie from Barnyard. I don't know if... Um, I'd want Bessie. Bessie would be cool. I really like Barnyard, too. Barnyard's one of my favorites. Um, I would not be opposed to Barnyard. Or Bessie from Barnyard. I would prefer another character over Bessie. Like, if there was another char Barnyard character getting it, I could think of, like, five. Like, over Bessie. Maybe, like, four over Bessie. Um, I think her name is also Bessie, right? Is that, am I tweaking? Her name's uh, Mighty B. Is that her name? Be uh, Bessie? Is that her name? 
somebody I, I don't i'm not gonna look it up right now i'm gonna look it up right now god dang it hold on yeah bessie higgin about amy polar played her okay wow uh all right i didn't know that uh that's fire um yeah, okay, Bessie Higginbottom. She's in. Okay, that, that would be fire. But you Amy Poehler's expensive. So like if she were to get in and y'all have Amy I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. There's a strike going on in Hollywood, bruh. I don't know what's going on. I, I'm not I'm not gonna pretend to know what's going on. Bessie would be cool though. Mighty B was cool. I wasn't a huge fan of it as a kid, but I do respect its place in the Nickelodeon Zeitgeist. Um Mighty B would be sick. She's a cool character. I know a lot of people really like Mighty B. I got a couple friends. I got a friend of mine that likes Mighty B. It would be cool to see her in. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know his name. I know what show he's from. He's from um the is he he's from the Casa Grande? No, he's not from the Casa Grande. He's from the Loud House. I think he's one of the sisters' boyfriends. I don't know his name. I Loud House. I know the sisters and the parents and like Ronnie Ann and that's it. I don't know anybody else. I can't think of his name. I think that's Arnie Ann's big brother, but I'm not sure. I don't know what his, I don't know what his name is. Um, indifferent. Like I said, I'm pretty sure even Loud House fans would take like 30 other characters before him. So I don't think I'm crazy. I don't think it's ridiculous to say that. Um, Boog from Fanboy and Chum Chum. Yeah, yeah. I still. I still quote Boog from Fanboy and Chum Chum. Fanboy and Chum Chum was, I, I, it used to annoy me for a short time as a kid and then it grew on me, kind of like Teen Titans Go. It used to annoy me and then I was like, ah, oh, this is actually kind of funny. Um, if you look at it from a certain perspective, I was like, okay, this absurdist comedy is hilarious. Um, Boog is very funny. He's a he's a bully, so it's like he he would have like a built-in move set. Like he already he already like beats up people, so it makes sense. Um, would I want him over Fanboy, fanboy or Chum Chum though? I don't know, but at the same time, I feel like I would be cool with Boog. Boog, Boog would uh, be nice. That would be funny. Um, this is the Deuce. So it's from from the um, Red Winners. Red Winners, right? Sway Sway and Badoos. I think Sway Sway is the taller one. I think this is Badoos. Um, honestly, I, I'm a, this might be a hot take. Might be a hot take. Brett Winters is just a like a just a generic fanboy and chump chum to me. Like it's just a rip off of fanboy and chump chum. I could, I mean, hey, that's how it seemed to me. Um, there, I remember some funny stuff from there. I remember the theme song, you know. But I, I don't know. It just didn't never. It never grabbed me like these other shows did. Uh, Bunsen is a beast. Never seen it. I can't speak on it. Can't speak on it. Uh, Casey Jones would be cool, but not that one. I. For some reason, I have a visceral dislike for this Casey Jones. That Casey Jones, maybe, like I said, I it's been a while since I've seen some of these shows. He could be cool, but classic Casey Jones, like, like long hair with the Jason hockey mask and the oh, with the oh, I mean, he has some of that too. But that classic one's a different beast, a different beast entirely. So, and it would be weird putting this Casey Jones with April. Like it just wouldn't make sense. So I guess I mean if we were to get Casey Jones, it would probably be the traditional one. And even if if it was, but it, since it's this Casey Jones, I'm putting it in would be cool. But if it was traditional Casey Jones, I'll put him in want. I put him in want for sure. Uh, cat dog, cat dog. Now this is scary because we have not seen. We've only seen one trailer so far, but we have not gotten any word of cat dog coming back. Uh, I might. I, I want to put him. I want to keep him in confirm just to keep it simple. I don't feel like making a whole nother tier right now. Keep, keep them in confirm because they were in the first game. Um, but yeah, Cat Dog. I mean, I really liked them in the first game. I liked them a lot. They were cracked as hell in the first game. So uh, hopefully they build on that moveset, make it. Um, I mean, I re already really liked it. It didn't really much. Doesn't really much uh, need much changing besides like polish, of course, new animations and all that stuff to make it feel like it's a part of the second game. But I don't know. Cat dog is cool. I love cat dog. Um, hopefully they make a return. Uh, hopefully they're still in. You know. Um, let's see. Chut. I almost called that boy Tommy. That's Chucky. That's Chucky. Um, do I need Chucky? If there was any, I don't need Chucky. Do I? You know. Um, I don't know. I think I want to put. 
I think I'm gonna put the Rugrats characters together. I don't think there's any Rugrats character that I just straight up need in the game. Personal, personally. Now, I would want, it would be cool to have them. Wouldn't want them, wouldn't want to see them in the future in DLC or something, or if they're in the game, would be great. But I don't need them in, I don't need them in. Um, Chum Chum, yeah, I, I want Chum Chum. Don't need Chum Chum, but I want Chum Chum. Uh, Jimmy's back, I would like Cindy. Cindy would be cool. She knows karate. You know, she's you know she has all all that stuff on the show. You could do like the in men stuff. Her recovery could be like her and like um, what do they call her in the show? I don't remember. But remember they drank the little the little things and got the superpowers and stuff. You could do that with her. Um, let's see. So we got this is this is Cl Clyde. I think his name is Clyde. Would be fine. Would be cool. I don't really want Clyde. I hit my space bar. I'm sorry. I don't really want Clyde. But it would be okay, right? Like Clyde, there's nothing wrong with Clyde. Clyde's a cool dude. Um, Lincoln's best friend. That's all I know about him. I know he has a crush on one of the sisters, and that's it. I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, Loud House, there was, I'm, I'm getting up to that age where it's like, there's some shows, it's like, I just didn't watch, or I've only caught in like passing, you know? And this is the cricket from Pig, Goat Banana Cricket. Same thing as the banana. I don't, I don't know. Crimson Chin. A. I fuck with the Crimson Chin. Crimson Chin is cool. Crimson Chin is cool. Like, Crimson Chin is cool. Like, he was really goaded because, I don't know, it's like all those, it was, it was just like how we were as kids. Like, Timmy, Jimmy, or not even Jimmy, Timmy, Sheen, like, all of them had, like, their favorite superhero and stuff. Like, even SpongeBob. SpongeBob has his favorite superheroes. Can Crimson Chin, I feel like out of all those, like, fictional superheroes, I don't know. I don't know. Ultra Lord is pretty sick. Ultra Lord is cool. The crimson chin is dip. that red, bro, with the yeah, not a red and black with the yellow, crazy colorway, crazy character design. Rogue, he has a rogues gallery. Like, I don't know, crimson chin might be fire if you got it. Crimson chin, I, I don't know, I don't know. Now, in over Timmy, that's a different conversation. But just in period, like crimson chill be. And you could put you put powder, what's called powder toast man, and you could put crimson chin in. Uh. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I know exactly who this dude is from the Wild Thornberries. I can't remember his name to save my life. And I can't, I, I can't remember his name to save my life. Would be cool though. I don't want him, but it would be cool. Now, Dib, Dib is that guy. Dib's that guy. Dib's that guy. Dib, Dib can go and want for sure. Uh, I don't need Dib though. I don't think there's any, mm, do I need Dib? I don't know. Hold on. That sounds kind of crazy. Do I? Do I? Would I need Dip in the game? Let's see. Nah, he can stay on. Uh, Donatello need the the two two turtles being in. Wait, no, he's in. He's confirmed. I forgot about that. He's in. Two turtles being in the game is always always blasphemous for me. For me, I had to let it slide because there was nothing I could do about it. But Donatello, he was in the trailer. Same thing with his his, his other brother. So. Uh, Donnie from the Wild Thorberries. Ah, there's something magical about the sound that Donnie makes. Like the, the way he speaks. There's something just so just it brings a tear to my eye. It's so funny. Like I'm trying not to burst out like cause it's just it's like ringing through my head like a damn alarm. Something super hilarious about that. But yeah, I, I feel like needing, I need Donnie just to hear. I don't care what his moveset is. He could be the worst character in the game. But if I spike somebody and he starts to, gets to jabbering, I feel like there's no joy greater than that in, in life. Honestly, hit somebody with a with a, a zero to death combo with Donnie and he, I, I don't even want to do it. I, I'm going to have to put a clip in or something, but oh my God. Yeah, I need him in. Um, Indifferent, I don't need bro. I can't even think of bro's name. I know it's from Planet Sheen, but no, uh, Doug, Doug would be, Doug, Doug would be cool. I know there's a lot of Disney owns Doug, so there's a lot of like, oh, but you know, a lot of legal stuff, but Doug would be sick. He's a, he's a, one of the OG, he's an OG. I think, wasn't he like the first Nickelodeon cartoon? Maybe I'm tweaking. I could be wrong. Fact check me. Y'all, y'all always give me with the fact checks when I'm wrong on these Nickelodeon videos. Y'all let me know. Uh, let me know. But I, I'm sure he... I know he's an OG, though. I know he's one of the older cartoons on Nickelodeon. Um, 
But Doug would be cool. I'll be down with Doug. You know his theme song is do do do. You know that's hard. That's hard. Uh, let's see. Tough puppy. Honestly, there's a car alarm going on right now. I don't know if I can hear. It. Honestly, Dudley Puppy need uh, on, need him because I'm not gonna be able to get Jerry Trainer. Is it what's that his name? Spencer from um, iCarly. You're not gonna be able to get him in the game any other way. I don't think they're gonna do live action people. So you're never gonna get Spencer, but like Dudley Puppy played by Spencer, like that's hard. And Dudley Puppy's awesome. His I really like Tough Puppy. Tough Puppy's really funny. The theme song's really good. Um, having the whole like the the spy base, the tough, you know, um, base as like a stage or something would be sick. Uh, LT Gray. Now, oh, oh boy, I'm not gonna put him in confirmed. There's a lot of stuff going on in LT Gray. If you're keeping up with the news cycle for this game, like really into it. If you're in the Discord, you're on the Reddit. If you're even just on YouTube, there's been leaks all over the place regarding LT Gray. And there's like reputable people saying that he's in the game, like he's gonna be in or he's confirmed or he's about to be in. And until I see it, I'm not gonna put him, I'm not gonna put him in confirmed. Uh, but I really would like LT Gray. LT Gray is cool as hell and his show is great. Um, I would love to see LT Gray in the game. Let's see, Eliza Thornberry. I am not opposed to Eliza. This might be controversial. I don't know if it's controversial. Cause I put Donnie in me. Um, I don't know if I, it would be cool if Eliza was in. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I would not be opposed to it. Um, her name is on the tip of my tongue, bruh. Mm. She would be cool with just the, I like Danny Phantom's entire rogue gallery. So I'm kind of biased putting her in want. But I can't even remember her name, so I don't even know if I would put her in one. That's not even, I can't even disrespect her like that, because I'm going to put her in one. And I'm like, what is her name? And I don't feel like looking it up. Fanboy, he can go in want the chum chum. Now, this is crazy putting her down here, even though I can't remember her name. What is your name? I know exactly who you are, too. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. Um, these folks. These guys are from Harvey Beaks. I like chowder and uh, I, I, I like the creators like art style and comedy. I've never watched an episode of this show a day in my life, so I can't even speak on it. Um, Garfield's in the game. Uh, Gerald. Hey, Arnold. I don't need Gerald, but I would like, I would say Gerald. But it would be so weird to have, if Arnold doesn't get in and Gerald did, you would literally have, that's like having... Patrick and Squidward in the game with no Spongebob like I don't know I mean it's not the same because Spongebob is Spongebob like you have to have him but I don't know um Ginger I don't know her last name uh would be cool I couldn't well I let me not say that I, I can't really think of a moveset myself but I'm sure there are far more creative people than me working on this game so I can't even say it's not possible but uh as told by Ginger I liked it, it was a nice little slice of life cartoon. Wouldn't really say I cared for her in this game. But here's the thing, I, honestly, my philosophy when, when it comes to games like this, I, if you got the money and if you got the, the, the creative team behind it to make cool move sets and innovative, like, you know, use good costumes. And I love ensemble things, ensemble casts, big rosters, a whole bunch of characters. Like Smash Ultimate is awesome to me. I didn't grow up with Nintendo though, right? Things like Multiverses and Nickelodeon though, I grew up watching those shows literally every day as a kid. So having as many characters as possible that I recognize will always be cool. That I recognize are the operative words though, because some of these people I just don't recognize. Um, I think this is the goat from Pig Goat Banana Cricket. Uh, yeah, and I didn't watch the show. Harvey Beaks. I hear I've heard good things about this, but I haven't watched it. I'm indifferent. Um, Hugh Neutron. Now this is interesting. Well, I he was in that first game as DLC, and Rocco and Jenny are back, and Jimmy is in. So logically, it would make sense, but he's not. This is, he's in the same boat as Cat Dog. We haven't seen him yet. I don't know. Um, is this Ickis? from uh, our real monsters it would be cool i don't really want it but he would be cool iro mm.
Iroh is so fire, dog. No pun intended. Iroh is so cool. He's such a great character. If I could, the Dragon of the West, like, that's so, like, so hard, bro. Bro can breathe fire, like, ugh. man, he got, got the chai tea. We'll give you some tea, put you to sleep. Like, ugh. I can, I can see the vision with Iroh. I really want Iroh, but do I need Iroh? Do I, do I, would I, like, I like, of course, like, Azula's a villain, though. Like, I would, I'm cool with villains. I really like villains. In games like these, I feel like I feel like villains need to be there just as much as the protagonists. Like antagonists and protagonists need to be there equally. But it's like it would be redundant because I'm assuming Zuko is getting in, right? Like he has a high likelihood of getting in. I'm assuming he could get in. But having Azula, Zuko, and Iroh is kind of crazy. So I think I'ma just because but he knows lightning too, but she has that blue fire. That sets her apart. I think I'm gonna keep him in want, but I will, it's real close to need. I'm gonna put him at the front of want. Even though none of this has an order, I haven't been ordering until now. He's going at the front of want. Uh, Jenny is in already. Jimmy is in. I love to see this. Oh, this is so. This is this, this makes me feel. This makes me happy. This makes me smile. Uh, Jorgen von Strang would be cool as hell, but I don't think I need him. Yeah, I don't think I need him. Uh, Katara, cool as hell. I don't think I need her. I, there's some of these that they check certain boxes. Like Korra has the water. Aang, I think, has water moves now, too. Um, I don't know how you will be able to set her. I mean, you, I, I know how you could be able to set her apart, but how would you make her better? Maybe she would be like a more of a zoner. Maybe. Katara, she's a goat, though. I can't. I mean, I do want Katara. Katara would be cool. Like I said, I'm avatar biased, so I'm going to want every avatar character in this one. Um, I'm gonna leave her on want for now, but that could change. Uh, Karai, I think is what her name is. I am an indifferent. I don't. I mean, I know she is. I think she's. Is she? Isn't she Shredder's daughter? Is she not Shredder's daughter? She's. If not, I know she's from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2012 version. Um, that's all I can tell you. I know she can fight, but that's all I can tell you. King Julian. Now this is gonna be a hot, hot take. I am impartial to seeing any dreamworks characters in this game even though i know there was a penguins of madagascar show i know there was the kung fu panda show um but i don't know dreamworks i don't know i mean i, I really like dreamworks I, I do love dreamworks don't get me wrong but when i think of nickelodeon i do a penguins of madagascar like that was a good show though like penguins of madagascar is funny and same thing with kung fu panda i would say it's not as good as penguins of madagascar um but it's still pretty, you know, still pretty decent. Um, uh, Kitty Catswell. I'm gonna put her in Wong. She would be cool, just like Dudley. Uh, Cora's in the game. Kyle would be cool. I don't necessarily want Kyle, but he would be cool. Okay, all the Loud Sisters. Um, okay, let's go by personalities, I guess, or like what kind of moves that they'd have. So you got the prank one would be cool. The rock one will be cool. Uh, the sports one be a little basic actually, because it's just like you're doing sports. Um, the oldest don't care. The ditzy one don't care. Um, the twins don't care. Oh. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm good with that. Uh, who is this? This is Man Ray. Man Ray's a go. Man Ray's a go. I don't know if I need him, but I I, I, I get down with Man Ray. I get down with Man Ray. Um, Miko from Glitch Text would be cool. I don't know your name, bro. No, but I don't know bro's name. I, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I have no idea what bro's name is, but I know Miko. Uh, and I watched the funny thing is I watched a couple episodes of Glitch Tech, so I, I should I don't remember bro's name. Holy smokes. Uh Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I don't know if they, they wouldn't be together. I don't know how you would design two old old ass people as a character, like as a conjoined like character like Ren and Snippy. Maybe you could do it. But you'd have to be like that's a lot. Um I'm down with Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy though. They're goats. Evil, yeah, 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 yeah. There goes uh, Mr. Crocker. He would be fire. Mr. Krabs. 
Mr. Krabs as DLC specifically, and I say this for two reasons. Mr. Krabs is one, it's Mr. Krabs. Him costing money, additional money, it's just it writes itself. It's perfect. Like it's it's literally perfect. Uh, I feel like if there's any character that people will be like, I'm gonna pay for them besides like the most popular, like Timmy or whatever, it's Mr. Krabs because it's like this is this is what he would want. He wants he would literally charge you to be in the game. Um, but also he's voiced by Clancy Brown. And from what I've heard, Clancy Brown is very expensive uh, to use. So it would pay for it. So Mr. Krabs, of course, I, I just want. Honestly, I kind of, I kind of, kind of, kind of need Mr. Krabs. I'm not going to lie. Just because of like him costing money is just so funny to me. Um, Angry Beavers. Uh, Norbert and Daddy. Let's see. I want the Angry Beavers. I really like Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers is cool. Um, there's a lot of people that want them. A lot of people deciding, like, discussing if they were going to be a part of a duo or if they're going to be separate. I think they're cool. Um, I don't, I think they're cool together. I think they're cool separate. Uh, either way, I'm, I would be happy. It would be fine. This guy's from Red Winners. I can't tell you nothing about him. Freddy from Back at the Barnyard. Um... Freddy and, what's his name, Peck? Freddy and Peck. Would be funny. Would be cool. I don't know if I necessarily want them, though. The Penguins of Madagascar. Now, this is the only exception I'm making. This is the only exception I'm making for DreamWorks characters. Only one. Uh, Pig would be so funny. So, so funny if you got in the game. Um, Hilarious, even. Let's see. We got Pip. Do I want Pip? No, it would be cool. It would be cool. Plankton, uh, we need more villains. Plankton, I, I think Plankton is Plankton. It's like he's he's the biggest show's villain. So like by default, Poe, I love you so much, but I'm sorry, you're running in, uh, indifferent. Like I mean, I can't really say sorry. I'm not saying I don't want you in, but like there's a DreamWorks racing game coming out, and yeah, I'll play that or something. I, I don't know. Um, the rabbits. I stay a little, little weird asses right there, right there. Um, confirm. Raphael's in. Ernest Stimpy's in. Robot and monster. Oh, wait, he's in. Let me put him in. Okay. Um. Robot and monster. Okay. That's the only thing I like about the show. This is a theme song. Some of these shows is just like, yeah, the show is kind of mid. But that theme song, that theme song, that gets stuck in your head. Um. This is Ronnie Ann. It would be cool. It would be cool to have another because she has her own show, the Casa Grandes and stuff. It would be cool if she had like if there was like an, if there was if there was any other Loud House universe character. I think it should be for another show rather than another sister. Uh, Rudy. Kind of need Rudy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I really. Chalk Zone, like in theory, like oh my god, like the moves that they could do for Rudy. It would just be, he'd be like Steve from Minecraft. And I know a lot of people just kind of punch their screen at me saying that. Because Steve, yeah, he's enemy, public enemy number one. But I don't know, the theme song. If we can get even an inkling, a drop of that theme song in this game. <sighs> we'll be so fired. Because the, the, I don't know if any, if you've never heard it, go look up the Chalk Zone theme song. Right, and you, like you don't have to know anything about the show. Even if you never heard the show, even if you heard it and you haven't heard it in a while, go look up that theme song and tell me that it's really fire. Like it's genuinely a good, like a rock song. Like they were going crazy on chocolate. Um, Sam from Danny Phantom. I like, like I said, I like all Danny Phantom characters, but I think I'm indifferent. I will, will be cool to Sam. I'm not indifferent to Sam, but we'll be cool. I'm not against Sam. Uh, Sanjay and Craig. Oh yeah, yeah, this is this is a good duo. Now then, I, I could see this happening, and I actually kind of like Hunter and Craig. That's one of those newer shows, like that. That new, I wouldn't even say newer. It probably's been so many years since that show came on. I'm just old. One of those newer shows that, like, I actually kind of like. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, I think I, I find it kind of funny. I still quote it, like it's in the in the theme song. You know, it's in, in my head. 
uh sheen want sheen is a goat sheen is so funny to me like he's just such a funny like some characters are just written there i don't know there was like a certain time in like cartoons where like every cartoon has that one character where like a real really funny person got to write they shit and sheen was that character for jimmy neutron like it's really like, carl's funny too carl's is like they're like one and two but like sheen is so funny to me um so yeah i would want sheen off of him just and also like all the ultra lore stuff planet sheen stuff like you know planet she wasn't great but it's still pretty funny um let's see master sifu sorry shifu sorry Shifu. master shifu sorry you're going down shredder was in that first game so i'm gonna put him in the same category as um what's it called hugh and cat dog technically confirmed because they're in the first game but and garfield's coming back i can only assume that shredder's coming back because they came out together so i don't or they came out like in a similar space of time so i don't know i'm not even gonna lie uh sweetheart i don't even know i'm not you i don't even know who you are i have no clue uh skulker skulker he's cool he's cool he's really cool like danny phantom ah they got some real superhero people on that show because skulker his his rogues gallery danny's rogues gallery is so cool uh skulker's sick he's a bounty hunter like ah, he, he, he i don't know he's, he's kind of sick uh snap i will i feel like the same way about snap and rudy like a chalk i just want a chalk zone person really badly chalk zones are so sick right uh this is the, the rat bad guy what is his name professor snap is it claptrap is that his name claptrap um would be cool would be cool I'm, I'm never like villains i don't know I, it's just some villains like i said i don't really care about but some villains like are really like they stick out to me and i would like to see more villains in this game Sokka. Oh. i only really i only really want Sokka because i can like picture a moveset if you just like put Sokka in the game and just made him play like link in smash i feel like that's so good like that's just so cool not exactly the same but like the boomerang the sword like it just makes sense to me um Sokka would be sick i don't know Sokka's cool and the costumes he have like his his like uh his war outfit with the wolf on his head and uh, i need to have his, his samurai outfit when he was training under that master oh my god it would be so cool Sokka's not even really one of my favorites in avatar like i really do like Sokka a lot but i don't even i wouldn't even call him one of my favorites actually he might Sokka's good. Sokka got really like when he when he when they start taking him seriously when he start being like he was still comedic the whole time but like when they actually start putting some gravitas around his character that was locked in. I was locked in. Uh, Master Splinter. Man, how many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles characters we have? If we got everybody, we basically got. If we get, it's just Splinter and Casey Jones are the only two like main characters missing now, right? Assuming that all the other hurdles come back and Shredder comes back. It will be four turtles, April, Shredder, and then Splinter. I mean, I don't need Splinter personally, but Splinter is a goat. I'm not gonna say that that he's not a goat or anything. It would be cool, but I don't think I need him because it's like you got all four turtles. Honestly, you could have stopped at all four turtles, but hey, uh, Squidward is in the game, which is awesome. It's really cool to do this. That they're like some of these characters are just new. It's like ugh, DLC and new new reveals, and it feels so good. Uh, Sway Sway, indifferent. You can go right next to your homeboy, the deuce. Uh, because I don't care. Hack would be cool, though. Hack would be cool. My theme song, it's in my head. Um, I have, I still, I feel like I still might have one of the McDonald's toys. Do you guys remember that? Back in when Tack was on the air, his games were coming out, and they did a McDonald's toy line. I don't know, I might have one of them somewhere in this house. I don't uh tigress you're sorry going in the shadow realm timmy turner is a need i should not have to explain that um it's timmy turner it, it was it, the game it feels weird without him here like it's literally you put timmy turner in after that i don't care but it just feels so weird without him here it's like it's like how i felt with smash bros and like um i guess I, well personally it's like how i felt with like smash bros and like crack man it's like I don't know crash bandicoot would be so cool in this but it, it, this is even worse though because it's timmy turner timmy turner has literally canonically hung out with jimmy neutron i don't know i don't know, I don't know. uh tommy i kind of 
I'm um now this is one thing I can say for sure, and this is just a me thing. I love I, I prefer to have like main characters in the game. At least the main character. Like you can do any side character you want after that, but the main character, I feel I'm more com I don't know, it's something about my 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 comic book brain. Like going up being a being a comic book fan, having like things go a certain way and having like a order and like having a, a whole complete set i don't know it's just how it feels tommy i really like tommy tommy's cool of course rugrats go it but uh i want tommy but i don't know if i necessarily need tommy that's that's the difference there uh let's see so we have ah i lost your name i'm indifferent i don't this is one of the few avatar characters i just don't care about uh toff where did I put you? No, not would be cool. You're in the game, or you were in the last game. Hopefully, you're coming back. Uh, you're in that category with in that purgatory. Let's see, Ultra Lord. Do I need Ultra Lord? Excuse me. No. Would he be cool though? Yeah. Do I want him? Not really. But he would be cool. Uh, Vicky would be cool. I mean, she's still in that same box with Timmy though. Like you can't, you know, Black Plasma. So he's revealed to be a villain in the game. It is not confirmed if he's been playable yet, but he's in the game. So I'm just gonna put him in confirmed. Like if, like if you're in the game, like you have a full model there. So uh, this this whole thing might change by the time the game comes out because there's so many modes and stuff about that like we don't know about. Um, because still early in the in the new cycle. But Black Plasma is any Phantom Goat. You know, like, I mean, at the very least, he's in need, but he's literally on the front cover of the game, so I don't know. Uh, Zuko, need. He is my favorite Avatar character. Uh, there's a stage alluding to Zuko. Zuko is one of the more popular characters. Zuko and, like, my top two characters that I need the most is Zuko and Otis. Those are my, like, top two. So, um, yeah, Zuko's a goat. I don't know if, if I need to explain that to Avatar. Uh, Bebop. We don't need no more turtle characters, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, we, we just, like, I mean, I understand if they did put them in. Because it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Like, they, like, they're, I would say they're beyond Nick. Like, Nick owns them right now. But it's like, Ninja Turtles were big decades before Nickelodeon bought them. Um, even then, I was like, I don't know. Like, personally, I don't, I don't need another turtle. Like all four, like I said, I'm good with all four turtles. My favorite turtle got in, Raphael's in. That's really the only turtle character I need. Uh, let's see, indifferent to this guy. Captain Man, indifferent. Don't need him. Uh, this chameleon dude, nah, he's pretty cool. I think he, I think he's pretty sick. I think I like his whole thing. I like his whole shtick. Uh, Cosmo, I do want Cosmo. I would like Cosmo. Uh, Dark, Dark Laser, Dark Laser? I think that's what his name was. Indifferent, don't need him. Uh, I can't think of Dip's sister's name. I can't. I, 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 my brain is reaching for a name. Can't even think of it. Would be cool though. Would be cool. Uh, let's do speed run. We're almost done here. We're almost done here. Let's see. Gur. Gur is a part of Zim's move set. So it's like I don't really need him. Like that. That that hole's already filled. Uh, for for Gur, he's like he's technically in the game. So I don't really. I don't, know, I don't feel like a, a urge to you know do it. Henry Danger, same thing in Captain Man. I just didn't, I did never gravitate gravitated towards me. I kind of stopped watching those. Like, um, I can't, I don't want to say his name here. His, he who shall not be named, the damn weird ass creator of that show, uh, or at least the live action show. I don't know who did the animated stuff. This is the bad guy from the first Jimmy Neutron movie. Um, dang, these names are falling on me bad. Like, I know them comments gonna be like, oh, how did this name, this name, this, I mean, not even in a bad way, it's just like, I, I'm losing recipes, like, it's been so long since I've seen these things, but I remember this dude, he was, like I said, he was the bad guy in that first Jim Neutron movie, he had showed up, he uh, formed a team against Jim Neutron of all his bad guys, yeah, I remember you, uh, so we got Larry the Lobster, I can get down with Larry, Larry's cool, living like Larry, yeah, literally living like, I do a, do a, a spike and yell, living like Larry at the top of my lungs, yeah, for sure uh king neptune not this one not that one movie one maybe movie won't be cool but not that one you go right next to that's roxette you can go right next to bebop uh suki 
my avatar. But I'm saying like avatar characters, you, they gonna they gonna end up in want at the very least. Like I don't need Tuki, but Tuki would be cool. Can't think of that dude's name. Wanda can go and want right next to her husband, her husband though. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. That's that 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 that, that bitch ass coyote from back at the barnyard. You, I should put you in need. Just so I can beat your bitch. You fuck. Um, I don't know. I can't remember that guy's name. Um, this is Krang. All turtles care. Every every other every new turtle character I see is going right in different because it's like I don't need you in. I wouldn't be mad if you were in, but I just don't need it. Rango. Sorry. Um, this is the bully guy from from Doug. I can't think of his name either. I'm coming up on blank. See, this is how we're at the bottom of the barrel. Some of these people I still know. I can recognize some of these faces, but uh, definitely at the bottom of the barrel. Did they? Did they ever get to put Zim on here? This might have been before the game came out. Yeah, this might have been before like the whole roster was revealed. Cause there's there's some people okay, missing. Like SpongeBob's not on here. Like okay, yeah, there's definitely some people. Missing. Um, so indifferent. Uh, these Zim dudes. Indifferent. Uh, indifferent. Indifferent. Mr. Black. Ah, Mr. Black. Honestly, hey. I'm a Mr. Blick believer. I'm a Mr. Blick enjoyer. I really like Cat Scratch. It's in a weird niche part of my childhood that I, I ended up watching so much of the show. And it, the theme song, the characters, like, I think it's good. I think Cat, cat Scratch is funny. Mr. Blick, I don't know. It's also interesting design for a cat. Like, the way they design all three of them is so weird. But it's so, he's so funny. I love, his voice actor is great. Uh, Professor Calamitous. Hmm. I don't know if there's, I think this is the only, uh, Professor Calamitous, wouldn't, would be cool, I wouldn't be against Professor Calamitous for Jimmy Neutron's, like, his villain, right, like, that would be sick, uh, I don't know, if there might be better villains to choose from if they were gonna put a villain in from Jimmy Neutron, but Calamitous is, uh, not bad, uh, this is the dolphin dude, I can't think of his name, Blowhole, Dr. Blowhole, yeah, you can stand in different, um, this is the big head guy from Rocko's Mountain Life. I can't, I can think of, I know his wife's name, but I don't know his name. Something, I guess you could just call him Mr. Big Head. Uh, different. Uh, let's see. Manny's dad. What's the White Pantera? Is that what, he, that what they used to call him? Ah, El Tigre, the memories are coming back. Oh my God, I love El Tigre. Um, will be cool. Just because El Tigre's great. This is not Remy Bucks of Plenty. Is this Remy Bucks of Plenty? What, there's two, Timmy and Jimmy have a rich person. Like, they both got one. And I don't know if this is, I don't think this is Remy Bucks of Plenty. There's, is it? I, I, I'm so tempted to look this up, but this video is already getting long. And I'm going to have to edit this and upload it. So we're just going to speed run this. Um, indifferent, I don't need him. This is Robot's brother, don't need him. This is the bad guy from the Axis, can't think his name, don't need him. This is Gordon from Cash Scratch. Would be cool. Um, trash man from Jimmy Neutron. Don't need him. These people don't know their name. No need. Don't need. Don't need. Okay, so we got the rest of the family from the X's. I can't think of you. I, I'm gonna call you Mr. X because you're the dad. You look like Stan Smith. I really like the X's. X's was a cool show. I don't think. I'm okay. Let me put them. I'll put the whole family in would be cool because I, I, I vaguely remember this show. Uh, don't care, don't care. Uh, what was it? Puma Loco, Puma Loco. Yes, yeah, LT Gray, y'all can all go, would be cool. Timmy's dad. Indifferent. I don't really give a damn about Timmy's dad. Uh, this guy from Tack and Howard Juju. Don't even know your name, so no. Um, damn. I got two out of three. I can't remember your name either. I'm gonna just put you up there with Gordon though. Is that everybody? That's everybody. Jesus Lord. Okay, let's take a look at this. So we got our confirmed people I need in the game. Like I, I really want, and probably a lot of these people are probably getting in at sooner or later. Uh, want, a lot of these people are probably getting in sooner or later. Um, would be cool, right? Uh, I feel like I'm comfortable with would be cool. This is not bad. Uh, and then indifferent. 
and I'm, there i know there's a lot of characters missing i didn't make this tier list i just tried to find the one with the most characters on it um hopefully there's not a better one that i missed with more characters but even then this video is coming up on like 45 minutes and i long videos are cool but yeah, not everybody got time for it. I'm just sitting here talking about stuff, so it's not that entertaining. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you want to create your own wish list, of course, I'll put the link in the description. If you think my wish list is stupid, if you love it, if you hate it, whatever is on your mind, keep it real in the comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. It's been Keaton G, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.